guys, this is Joe Plum, Pastor Automotive and Audio. Today we're doing a setup and navigation guide for the Wanvon Underseat Subwoofer. We're going to go over the auto power on function and we're going to go into a little bit more detail on the Lotus Lantern app. So please stay tuned and thank you for watching. Alright, so now what the auto power on is for is actually to turn the amplifier on when it receives an audio signal from your car's stereo, you have to actually tap into your stereo speakers. And to do this, we're doing this on my Pioneer AV head unit out here on the bench. So that will give us our audio input. And now how it works is you do not have your remote hooked up, but you do have your audio input coming in from your speakers. So now I actually have Nefix Hustlin', I believe, queued up on the TV here, which is connected to my AV receiver. So now when I press play on the remote, it should Yep, there it goes. Automatically hooked, turned it on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause it. Let's see how long it actually takes for it to turn off. Uh, last time it took me about two minutes, but that's good. Um, it doesn't wanna turn off right away, just in case if you mute you know, your volume on your radio for a second, and then it doesn't wanna have to cycle the amp on and off. So that little bit of grace period, that little bit of delay is actually what you want. So let's see how long it takes. Probably gonna have to elapse the time. There we go, all right, one out. Cool. Try it again. Oh, there it goes. Well, all right, so let's go into detail in this Lotus Lantern app. This literally controls the LED ring and it does a lot of different things. If we go up to the very top left, that is just for your devices. And um, on the right, top is settings uh, it has a shake which is pretty cool you can shake it and turn it on shake your phone that is i don't really have that you can change your background give feedback do the auto connect um i always keep the auto connect on but i guess you don't necessarily have to so now down on the bottom we have adjust style music mic and schedule but probably the most important thing is this right here that is actually to power it on and as you can see you can spin it and change it any color you want there are presets down here and that's pretty much everything except for you can change the actual type of the ring and you can do uh, the yellow I'm not sure what this is CCT and then you have a black and a white which is pretty cool because uh, it like you can get it very very dim it's not even showing up mostly but yeah it's really cool all right from there now style this is a bunch of different things it strobes they got the flash um, I like that I like the flash and the strobe my favorite is the static though it kind of uh, flickers with the music I don't have any music on right now but yep that's what that's for and you can also change the speed and the brightness next from down there we have music and music actually has music that is stored in your phone and it will uh you know react to the music it's really cool the next one down is actually one of my favorites um this is mic and this will actually make it react to the microphone so as you can see it's only working when i am talking which it would be working all the time because i talk a lot but anyways from down there you can even set schedules to turn on and to turn off whenever you please so let's get some music going go a lot slower keep doubling you keep bluffing you've got nothing i'll keep hustling and like i said go back to adjust well all right guys hope that helped you out Hit me up down below if you have any questions or anything, comments, concerns, whatever. Um, make sure you look at the description down there and they have extended the promo code, I think for a couple of months. And the promo code is for actually 20% off. And considering, like I said before, that it comes with the AMP installation kit, it's absolutely an amazing value. I haven't had no problems with it yet and it sounds very good. Like I said, it actually sounds better than the J10 ASB 
and the dual TBX 10A. It just kind of is what it is. Also be sure to watch the video in the description on how to hook one of these up full installation using RCAs and a remote wire. And just remember, if you're using a remote wire, you do not need the auto power on to be on. You need to turn it off. If you're not using a remote wire, then you turn your auto power on. And then the amplifier waits for the music and then basically turns on. And then it'll turn off after it stops hearing music after about two to five minutes. It's been kind of random, uh, varies a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you Juan Von for providing it for us. And also, have a good day. Thank you for watching.